You know what? I'm just gonna draw a line and follow along. <laughs> Shalom. Hi, everybody. It's me. It's Rogue. We're back for another video. Before we start off with this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that watched, liked, and subscribed my last video, my premiere on YouTube, if you will. Calm down. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And of course, thank you for tuning into this one. So I actually already filmed an intro to this video, but it was after a shift at work and I wanted to get relaxed right away. I look extremely awkward and mumble my words throughout the entire thing and I just didn't like how I looked. So we're gonna try this again. Basically, there's a trend that's running around YouTube right now. Family picks my makeup, celebrities pick my makeup, whatever, 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 where these YouTubers will DM famous people that they know and ask them to pick a step from their makeup and come up with a look fully contrived from their suggestions. And so little old me was thinking and I was like, what celebrities do I know and like have access to? And so I thought about Canada's Drag Race. If you are unaware of what that is, which I mean, like, why are you following me? Canada's Drag Race is pretty much like a Canadian version of RuPaul's Drag Race. There's Drag Race Holland, Drag Race Thailand, soon to be Drag Race Australia. And Canada's Drag Race premiered this summer. As you may be thinking, like, there's a lot of contestants rogue. Like, how are you going to split your makeup into 12 different steps? Well, I have a very simple solution to you. I'm only going to do the ones that follow me. <laughs> So before we get started, I just want to say no shade to any of the girls that aren't mentioned in this video. It's not personal. It's literally just, I didn't want to DM you and not get a response because then I would feel really bad about myself. So it was for me and not for you. You're already famous. Get over it. Or you can just DM me and we can become friends and you can be in the next one. Literally none of them are going to watch this probably. So as I mentioned earlier, I did film myself DMing all of them and getting their responses and everything because I wanted this to be like as fluid and involved as possible, but that didn't work out. So I'm just gonna tell you Will's got picked for which steps now. So for my foundation color, I DM'd Alona and I told her to pick any color possible, any color she wanted. For Scarlet Bobo, I got her to pick my contour color. For Jimbo, my eyeshadow look. I got Juicebox to pick my eyebrow shape. I got Kiara to pick my lips. I got Lemon to pick my wig or lack of wig if she wanted. And our reigning queen of the north, Priyanka, I got her to pick my outfit. But let's see where this goes. I'm gonna go cover my eyebrows off camera and then we will be right back. Hello, hi. Okay, the brows are blocked, ready for step number one. So for the color of my skin, I gave that to Alona, the queen of monochromatic looks. I told Alona she could pick any color that she wanted, minus blackface, obviously. And she went with powder blue. So I just made this little concoction here in a shot glass, mixing blue and white. And I hope I have like this powder blue little moment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to the face, wiping off the excess first. First. Also, can I just say really quick, paint your ears, okay? Okay, we have the base all complete. I think Alona will be happy with this pastel blue moment. Next up, we have our contour color, which is gonna come from Canada's Drag Race runner-up, Sissy Scarlet Bobo. Scarlet told me to do a purple contour, which is actually gonna probably work out really well for this. So thank you, Scarlet Bobo. So I'm gonna carve out these cheekbones. Contour the forehead, and snatch the nose. Okay, this is all the contouring I think I can do right now. I usually like put the nose contour into my eyeshadow, but um, you'll see why I can't do that in a second. All right, so next up we're gonna do eyeshadow. One of the fan favorites, one of my favorites from the season, which is Jimbo. I think Jimbo just really provided like what we see in actual drag scenes. It was really nice seeing Jimbo on TV. However, what's not nice is what Jimbo told me to do. Leave it to the clown to fuck up my makeup. Jimbo said, how about some upside down eyes? And then I asked for colors and they said green, blue, and yellow. Like literally, what do I do? I Googled some upside down eye makeup also to get some kind of inspiration. And there's literally no videos or photos or anything on Google Images that has any kind of upside down eye makeup. So for inspiration, I actually have my computer right over here and I've taken an eye that I've done before and flipped it upside down to kind of see what shape I could emulate? Ugh, I don't know. This is gonna stress me out so much. Y'all, I just paused filming and started talking to myself for literally like 15 minutes. This wasn't on. Now it's on. I'm gonna try and make it look pretty though. So if I don't do exactly upside down, I'm so sorry, Jimbo, my drag clown, but a girl's gotta be pretty, so. <laughs> 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is place my yellow, and then I'm gonna move on to the liner. I'm gonna dip into a dark blue and try to blend this out now. Now I'm gonna add green to where my lid would be in this upside down world. And now I'm gonna repeat everything I've just done on the other side. Okay, I'm trying really hard here to not do what I normally do, and it's really difficult. I think this will be the saving grace, though. So eyebrows were chosen by Canada's sweetheart, Juice Box, and she said it's a tie between two-inch Spock brows or thin 1920s brows. I definitely thought from when Juice sent me that message that I was gonna do Spock brows because I think they're kind of hot, but I think for this eye look, it needs a 1920s brow. You know what I mean? It needs some gold arches right there. To create our 1920s brow, I'm gonna take my liner and I'm just gonna really just snatch a brow. Okay, this is the general shape all done. I'm gonna let that dry off completely. In the meantime though, I am gonna finish up the eye. I'm just gonna draw a line connecting. You know what? I'm just gonna draw a line and follow along. <laughs> And now time to move on to the lips. Yara picked my lips and she sent me this photo right here and said, emulate that as much as possible. So I'm just gonna do that. Why do I feel like I look like that girl from A Nightmare Before Christmas? Or like people's makeups interpretation of that, you know? All right, that is the face all complete. I'm gonna add gloss and lashes later. I'm gonna add lashes down here, which is gonna be a fun little touch. Okay, I'll be right back with the finished product. Thousands of tears later. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right, so we are back. This is the finished look. Wig was a lemon, so you suggested yellow, obviously. Outfit is Priyanka. She wanted me to recreate her entrance look, so I um, took a bodysuit and hot glued a question mark onto it. She also was wearing dangly earrings, so I thought I might as well. These beautiful gloves were made by Greasy Dart Nails and then stoned by Cleopatra Compton. When I first wanted to do this challenge, I thought like, you know, like what could go wrong? Like I could do this, I could do that. Um, I don't really know what it is, but I feel like I look fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Thank you so much for watching this train wreck. I'm sorry that I could not do it better, although I do think that I did it like kind of well. I don't know about this, but like, Kind of fierce, kind of like a smurf, no? Not to be rude, but I want to get out of this as fast as possible. A girl's gotta be pretty, so. If you want to follow me on my socials, you can follow me at It's Just Rogue on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below telling me what you want to see next from me and hit that big red subscribe button. Thank you to all the Canada's Drag Race girls that participated. I hope you all still love me even though I couldn't do it justice. And if you disagree with me and you think I did an amazing job, comment that down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, side note, sorry, but how fun is this huge giant wig? Like, oh!